All right, so this is a Mercury. So if your motor is stuck up, the trim is stuck up, won't come down, you got air trapped or something, or it's stuck in the down position, the only way to move it at that point in time is to remove the release valve, which is right here on the side of the motor. Now, in most instances, this, depending on, this is a used motor, so this thing was all boogered up so the screwdriver wouldn't work in here. So, and it's all busted up. Before you start drilling into here, doing anything like that, just get yourself one of these little handy dandy torches or something else to heat the screwdriver up with, okay? Turn it on, heat the screwdriver up. Okay. And once the screwdriver is heated up, there, I already did this one, so it'll stick in and make itself a new hole, and then you'll be able to turn this thing out. There we go. And now it's coming out. Now, I know a lot of guys are going to be mad because, oh, this piece of plastic broke and now it's a pain to get out and I got to do the torch thing. And, but it will come out. It'll just, this one's screwing right out now. Okay? And everybody's going to say, oh, I don't want that to happen again. So I'm going to get a stronger one. I'm going to get a stainless one. And I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to put this stainless one in. This stainless one is going to corrode to the aluminum body. You will never get this stainless one out once it corrodes. If this one got stuck, this stainless one isn't coming out. So... I would much rather have to deal with this piece of plastic, heat up a screwdriver to get it out, than to have to try to drill and get this stainless one out once I put it in. So I'd recommend just buying a new plastic one or put yours back in. And now that you have a slot that you melted with the screwdriver, and if you take it in and out a couple of times, you'll be able to work it all, all the way out. And this C-clip is actually behind here to prevent this plastic piece from screwing all the way out. But that's the way to get it out real easy without having to go drilling or anything. Just warm up a screwdriver, heat up a screwdriver, press it in, and it's tight, but it'll turn out. There it goes. And the motor will come right down. Right now the motor's, I got the motor on a bracket holding it up so it won't drop all the way. Because I'm gonna, there you go, it's going down though. So it hits the bracket. There you go, that's how to do it.